Hey guys, Lynn here. Welcome to another episode of the Settlement Build Guide. Today I'm going to give you guys a few quick tips on building your first, very first farm. And we're here, still in Sanctuary. And this guide is mainly for people who are in Sanctuary, or still in the surrounding area, okay? Because we're actually going to go steal some crops from a nearby farm, okay? Before we get started, I'll tell you guys exactly how to build crops. If you're in Sanctuary, you should already have crops lying around, which will be melons, okay? And they will continue to grow exactly where they are. All you have to do to grow crops is harvest them, and then place down the harvested melon back into the ground. And now you have two melons Seems growing. To be growing well. Okay, and you can just keep repeating that until you have an unlimited number of crops, okay? So you can do that for melons, but what we're gonna do in this video is we don't want just melons. Okay, we're gonna go to a nearby place and get a second type of crop. Obviously, you can explore the wasteland for all the different kinds, but we are going to go, and if you go to the start of Sanctuary, okay, right where the bridge is, you take a look to your right, and you will see a power tower, or pylon, right there. Okay, we're going to travel to there, because that is, in fact, Abernathy Farm. All right, so by the powers of editing, we're here. Okay, and if we take a look around here, there's actually a farm, and we can steal all of Blake Abernathy's tato plants. Okay, huh? but don't worry, it doesn't count as stealing. So we've got a good supply here already, and we're just outside of our settlement, so we're going to take them all. Alright, and then we're going to use the power of editing again, and return back to our farm. Alright, so we're back at our farm, and I have assigned Sturges here to work at this little tail plant and all you have to do is keep planting them and once they're ready you can pick them the one that you've picked will continue to grow and you can now plant down your brand new one that you've picked and you can just keep growing your farm that way but be careful guys if you get too big and your defenses are really low you will start getting attacked by raiders seems to be growing okay, well. guys so make sure that you prop up your defenses before you get your farm to be too big just kind of keep it what you need for your settlers just now until your settlement is better constructed all right guys i hope you enjoy the video if you huh? found it useful don't forget to hit the subscribe button and like and don't forget to leave your comments below i will see you guys in the next episode